Today we'll speak about one of my favorite melodic death metal bands of all time and I'm speaking about uh, At The Gates from Sweden, from uh, Condeborg town, uh, one of the leaders of the new wave of uh, melodic Swedish um, death metal together with In Flames, the old In Flames and together with Dark, dark Tranquility of course. First of all I have to say that uh, this band came out from the ashes of another band uh, from Sweden by the name Grotesque, one of the first black death metal uh, uh, bands of this time. Inside Grotesque, Grotesque they did make a real uh, studio album, this is a, a compilation of uh, some of their demos and the EPs of them in the Embrace of Evil. Here we have we, we had some uh, special members for of course uh, the guitarist Alf Svensson he was also in the first two uh, At the Gates albums the brothers uh, John Lenn of course Jonas and Anders but also here we had also the drummer of the one man's band uh, black metal band uh, Arcanum and also here we have also Necronord Necronord is an artist by the name Christian uh, Walhim, if I if prefer well his name, is a, a very uh, well known artist that he made um, many cover arts of many death and black metal bands of, like Dissection, Emperor, and etc. Uh, but from here, from a Grotesque, uh, came out from, from of their asses and uh, the band at the gates that. Uh, they made the band, the brothers of Brodzel, Jonas and Anders, Jonas in the bass, Anders in the guitars, together with the drummer Adrian Ellason, together with uh, the guitarist Alf Sverson, and together with uh, the singer Thomas Lindbergh, they made the band in 1990, in the beginning of the 90s. Of course, uh, the band continued until uh, their uh, fourth album, Slaughter of the Soul, uh, that, uh, the, it, this was also the peak of their career, career. Uh, and afterwards, uh, one year after the most successful album of them, they disbanded, something that many people they didn't understand, so in 1996 the band uh, disbanded. Of course the brothers uh, Bjorlund, they made, uh, the twin brothers, if, I, if I'm not sure, they made another sp special famous band, the thrust band, metal band, um, The Haunted. Um, Thomas Lindbergh, the singer of At The Gates, uh, he was afterwards in other bands like The Crown, Lock Up, Night Raids. And um, here uh, I have to say that uh, it, uh, after so many years they made a comeback first of all it was a, lit, uh, a comeback of a, a lit period of time between 2007 and 2008 and the real comeback came in 2010 but the band they made their first album after so many years the comeback album in, on, in 2014 by the name At War With Reality, a great album, and then continue of course until now. So here I will speak about, I, I, I try to make a worst to best about their studio albums, in reality there is not a worst best, uh, a worst album about them, um, also they made an EP Gardens of Grief, but here I will speak about their studio, seven studio albums of them. Let's start. In the seventh place for me comes their sixth album by the name To Drink From The Night Itself, came out in 2018. Uh, it's a not bad album, but if I make um, a if I will speak about this album that came out after ad, the album at war with reality, in reality, uh, I, I prefer a little less, uh, little bit less this album from the other albums. So for this reason, I will put it here. Now in the sixth place, their last album, their seventh album of 2021, 
The Nightmare of Being, a very very good album of uh, the last uh, year of 2021, so also for many many metallers. Uh, it's a little bit more melodic, but I prefer it uh, more than to drink from the night itself. In the fifth place, their fifth album of 2014, the comeback album At War with Reality, a great, great album. For me, one of the best comeback albums of all time. Really, really, I, I like it so, so much, this special uh, album. In the fourth place, their second album of 1993, with Fear I Kiss the Burning Darkness, and also this was also the last album with uh, Alf's version in the guitars. For many people, the first uh, two albums of The Gates are the more aggressive or the more extreme of them, and also a very special good album. In the third place, their mini third album, a Terminal Spirit Disease of 1994, and for many people also here they became a little bit more melodic. And this album is is uh, the album that uh, prepare us for the next album, Slaughter of the South one year afterwards. So in the second place, and here maybe many people will not uh, agree with me. In the second place, their fourth album of 1995, Slaughter of the Soul, one of the best melodic death metal albums of all time. Um, they became so famous, especially after this album, and uh, many people did understand that one year after, after that they disbanded. But in any case, I like it, but not so like the next place so in the first place their first debut album the red in the sky is ours for me this is of 1992 the best and my the best album for me my favorite album of them so special album the vocals are a little bit more blackies in this album uh, also they have uh, 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 the sound of violin uh, inside these songs, great, great, very special album of melodic death metal, in any case. So I prefer it a little bit even more than Slaughter of the Soul. This is about at the gates, so from Israel, from Jerusalem, stay metal and stay heavy. <laughs>